Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Greg. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing good. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, some of my experiences, where I'm at in the uh, Thunder Wizard path. And um, if you've been watching his videos lately, well, this is something that I always notice when I watch those videos is um, sometimes I come to the thought and whether it's positive or negative in my mind, I'm always thinking, man, he always is always talking about the same thing, you know. Even though there's different subjects, he comes back to the same type of stuff, you know. It's like, oh, all right, he's always saying the same thing. Sometimes I say it to myself, oh, he's always saying the same thing. Ah, I feel like changing the channel, you know. But then uh, other videos, he says, he mentions that he, he does say the same things, but it's really important to keep pounding this these thoughts into us, you know. If, you, um, if you're really interested in some real true spiritual growth and uh, realization and reality and grounding in your life you know it's really important to hear this stuff as often as possible you know and uh, I know at, at times sometimes when I hear him talking about so I want to change the channel because it's like oh, he's talking about the same thing he keeps saying okay I know already you know and there's other t times when I'm in a better state of mind where I'm like yeah he's right he's right you know yes I got to do this I'm, I'm feeling motivated I'm feeling motivated I'm gonna go do this you know start uh, getting on the right track again but it is true everything that he says one of the rituals that I just ended and this was I just ended it yesterday and this was a six month vow that I made to the gods to do a certain ritual for six months and I stayed dedicated to it there was a few days where I felt like I didn't want to do it you know but I went ahead and did it anyway and uh, I'm glad I really did that because there's a, I feel a different effect on me. I feel a change in me. And I'm talking about a, a six month vow to do the uh, Turisaj, Rune Mudra, for six months every day. And I, I went ahead and did it. I finally did it. And it took forever. It seemed like forever. I put it down on the calendar on my uh, phone. And uh, yesterday it finally alerted me. This is the last day. I was like, oh, finally, it's here. You know? And uh, finishing that and going into med meditation and thanking Thor for these energies and where he's uh, brought me into my life right now is really um, is really beneficial. It's really beneficial for me what's been going on because um, that energy of Thor is all about the, those boundaries, you know, solidifying your boundaries, having a really good, strong sense of uh, your independent self. And at the same time, you're having that that interdependence with the um, with the the celestial sky, the spirit, the universe. You know, you are um, balancing that earth energy with the with the sky energy, the heaven and earth energy, as uh, as they say in the uh, the Taoist, balancing heaven and earth within man, heaven earth man. You know, the three selves, heaven earth man. And uh, that's a really good one. You know, it's really cool to really experience that. And, um, you know, it's it's something that you always have to stay dedicated to, though, also, too. Um, I know I've been, been doing this for a while. Um, the, uh, the whole Thunder Wizard path, it's been, um, it's going on almost a year now, barely. Well, yeah, it's only a while, yeah, about a year. In April will be about a year. So it's coming up soon. March, April, May. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming up soon. But I've had a lot of different changes. And uh, I just wanted to stress that it's really important to really dedicate yourself when you're doing something. When you are making a vow to the gods, to doing a ritual. Um, you know, if you feel yourself falling off, you know, just keep pursuing it. Keep pursuing it. Keep pursuing it. Keep going at it. You know, you don't want to stop. You really want to let the universe know that you want to align yourself with the heavens in your three-dimensional physical self. You want to balance that energy. You want to let it manifest through your three-dimensional reality. And, um, you know, you're going to see some changes, you know, and it's really, it's, it's a lot, it's really hard in the beginning because what's going to happen is you're going to, everything that's blocking you is going to start getting exposed. And it might not be a conscious thought of what you're being exposed, but there's going to be a, a feeling an uncomfortableness inside of you you know you want to pay attention to those feelings you know go into meditations with those feelings you know search feel them feel them out keep going in there find out what it is you know 
Um, I just finished uh, last week. I finished the forty day ritual. Um, with the, with the thunder astrology, you know, you get a, a mantra and you, you get a ritual that you can do for in forty day increments, or however you please. But the forty days is really the the really the one that works the best. And um, this forty day ritual I was doing, the previous two forty day rituals before that was the same intention. So I ended up doing this forty day ritual three different times. The first time I did it, I was um, uh, I don't really want to reveal my intentions. My intentions, what what kind of help I was asking for, but I was basically, um, you know, asking for help in um, growing my energy, you know, aligning myself, basically, you know, you know, we all have our little own personal little things, but that first forty day rituals that I did it with, I ended up falling off the wagon. Um, let's say uh, not really paying attention to my intuition, and I would end up waking up the next day going, "Shit, I messed up." You know, but I still did the 40-day ritual. I still went through with it, and I finished it. And at the end of it, I would still feel like uh, I still got to gotta do it again. I got to do it again. I got to let this intention out again to the universe. Let it know again. I got to try again, you know. And the second time I did it, the same thing happened again. I ended up falling off and feeling like, oh, I just took a step forward, but I took two steps back. It's like, um, you know, but I kept doing the ritual every day. I finished that 40 day ritual and I was like, okay, third time, you know, I'm not going to go for three strikes, you're out. I'm going to do it this time. I want to make a huge effort. You know, I'm going to make more of an effort than I was in the other two. So the third time I did it, I ended up going through it and I didn't fall. I didn't do the wrong thing. I didn't wake up the next morning feeling like, feeling bad about anything I did throughout my uh, day. So once I finished that, that third time, all of a sudden, I really feel like I'm starting to overcome some of those that, that, that bad habit that I had, you know. And, of course, this is a never-ending process. This is a constant vigilant awareness that you want to maintain, you know. Just because I'm saying right now, I accomplished it, I finished it, it doesn't really mean it's going to go away, you know. Now I don't have to try, you know what I mean? Now you have to, I have to really try, I have to keep trying. And I have to keep maintaining where I'm at now. There is a certain little level, though, that I feel like I passed. And uh, it feels good, you know. I feel like uh, like I'm proud of myself for accomplishing this. And um, so I haven't started another 40-day ritual yet. It's been about a week now. And usually, since I've been given the, the mantra and the 40-day ritual, I always do it one after the other, you know, I, I wait maybe one day and then I'll do another one, I'll do another one, I'll do another one. This time I've been waiting, you know, I've been chilling, uh, using my time for other stuff, you know, I've been running around doing all kinds of stuff, I haven't been able to load videos, but that's really like a, like as a Thunder Wizard would say, I'm really not making the time to make the videos, you know. If I wanted to make the videos, I'll make the, I'll, I'll get the time to make it, you know. So that's, uh, I'm starting to be more aware of the things that he says, those thoughts are starting to stick within my mind from watching his videos continuously and and practicing it, you know. Um, yeah, constantly in real time, really doing what he says in my life, you know, taking action towards what he's saying, you know. And, um, yeah, you want to do your um, your Qigong, whatever kind of Qigong you do, Durisaj Rune Mudra, Celestial Qigong, the one I really like is the five elements. The, um, what is it called? The thunder, I forgot what it was called. Bringing, calling the storm, something like that. It's a, it's a sequence of doing the five elements in a certain order that really um, kind of casts out the negative energy within you. It's like the Thurisaz Rune Mudra. It really gives you those boundaries and it, it helps you to be uh, strong within your aura. You know, you're empowering yourself with this energy. You want to do something like that. You want to continue to do it. You know, I only do it for uh, five to ten minutes a day now, lately, trying to make time to do other things. So even even that much time is really effective. And um, me, myself, too, I, I eat more uh, organic food than anything else. And that's really helped me a lot, too. And I've gotten away from um, caffeine, alcohol, drugs. I used to be big into uh, marijuana and uh, power plants, but more marijuana. I was doing marijuana for 33 years, and I stopped 
in um, 2018 in April. You know, I was doing it from 1985 all the way to 2018, 33 years of uh, marijuana. You know, and I really thought it was a very spiritual thing, but after doing Qigong and really feeling that real organic life energy, what uh, the Thunder Wizard started saying about it is really true. It's more of a simulated type of a, of a life force energy, and it really does drain you, drain you of energy, you know, the burnout. You, you come down. It's just like alcohol, you know. You do alcohol, you drink caffeine, you're forcing your body to burn more energy in one shot. That's what makes you feel really good in the moment, in the beginning. But um, afterwards, you, you know, you have that burnout, you know. You're not really looking at, let's say, a day. You're not really looking at it as, I'm, I'm running a marathon on this day. You know, I'm going to pace myself out through every lap. You drink caffeine, you know, those first few laps, you're going to be rushing it, you know. By the end of those other laps, those last laps, you're just barely hanging in there. Whereas someone who didn't do all that stuff is just pacing themselves out. They're going to pass you up eventually, you know. They have all the energy. They didn't waste their energy like that in something unnatural and organic so organic food is really a good thing to do um yeah just stay on your path you know it's really hard but um we all got to do it you know and uh you really want to be uh very compassionate with yourself you know have a good heart be cool be patient let all the thoughts happen all of the the bad thoughts let them happen search them think about them and learn from them if you could really find out where those memories come from it's really good but if you can you just you go with that feeling and you uh tell yourself it's okay to have these feelings you know you just don't want to react into the world with negative feelings because then that creates a whole karmic debt which you don't want to do you know but um yeah that's all we want to do is we want to learn how to balance the heaven earth the heaven energy with the earth energy within man within human you know that's what we want to do so that's all i wanted to talk about i hope you guys are doing good and uh anybody wants a thunder astrology reading i'll leave the link on the bottom all right peace